Welcome to this video where I'll show you how to calculate the future value for an investment that has variable returns. In reality, it's unlikely that investments will have the same returns every year, which therefore makes the future value function less suitable, as this assumes fixed returns. In our example, we're going to assume that we invest £10,000 for a duration of five years, and the returns we get will be 5% in year one, 6% in year 2, 4% in year 3, a drop of 5% in year 4, and a gain of 9% in year 5. One way of calculating the future value is by manually creating a calculation table. The beginning value in year 1 is £10,000, which is our initial investment. The year 1 interest is 5%, and the value at the end of year 1 is 10,000 multiplied by 1 plus 5%. Therefore, our investments will grow to 10,500 pounds by the end of year one. The beginning value of year two is the same as the ending value of year one, which is 10,500. And the formulae to calculate the interest and ending value remain the same. We can now bring these calculations down to calculate the remaining values. Therefore, by the end of year five, our initial investment of £10,000 will have grown to 11,906.12. So that's one way to calculate the future value for an investment that has variable returns. An easier way, however, is by using the FV schedule function. All we have to do is type FV schedule First input the initial investment figure, which is £10,000, followed by the return schedule, and then click enter. As you can see, this returns exactly the same figure without having to spend time setting up a calculation table. Therefore, the advantage of the FV schedule function over the future value function is that it easily calculates the future value when there are variable returns. The main limitation of the FV schedule function, however, is that it doesn't allow for regular contributions to be made after the initial investment. To overcome this, you can use the future value function instead if you're using fixed rates of return, or we'll have to build a calculation table if you're using variable returns. This brings us to the end of this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you found it useful, and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques, and examples.